I am and my son Yahushua are not glorified dentists. We are the God of creation. We do not copy man's ways. Prayerfully seek the truth. For there are those who seek to deceive you. This is nothing more than sorcery, wizardry, alchemy and enchantment. The magic of turning metal into gold. Beware spiritual leaders and the people who supernaturally get these gold fillings in their mouths. Pick up messages from Satan like a radio transmitter. They will not be able to discern the true voice of the Ruach HaKodesh ever again. They have sold their soul for a mouthful of gold if they do not repent and get it removed. Study and show thyself approved. Where is this in the Holy Scriptures I have given you? They call this a revival, but the fires of hell are licking at their feet. Know ye, my ways are not the world's ways. You go running to and fro, and even the heathen do so for the sake of gold. And you chase after signs, wonders, and miracles. And know not this is what the Antichrist will use to deceive so many? Know ye not that signs, wonders, and miracles follow them that believe? Not you following after the signs, wonders, and miracles. My most trusted servants are being led away like a pig with a gold ring in his snout. You who are doing these things are showing your true fruit. Beware, for you will be held accountable. How dare you insult my true servants who warn you and remind you even the very elect will be deceived if possible. This is only possible if no one is willing to warn and speak out. You should not hate them, but be grateful for their boldness. No, but in these times, good is spoken as evil, and evil is spoken as good. I do not need to change metal fillings in teeth into gold to save souls, or sprinkle gold dust over you. It takes the blood of Yahushua to cover you, not gold dust. If this is all it took, I would not have given my son Yahushua for a sacrifice at Calvary. You spiritual leaders, I charge you with this folly. Repent today. Have no part in this gold fever revival. Find out who the sorcerers are in the churches who bring this into the churches and temples and chase them out. You are the blind leading the blind. Both shall fall into the bowels of hell as you lead the people to signs, wonders, miracles and not to redemption. Yahushua is his name. My people flee from such places you see this. Rebuke Satan and flee. You bring shame upon yourselves as your hunger and thirst after signs and Satan gives you what you desire. What will you do when Satan says, bring me your pennies and I shall turn the metal into a pile of gold? Don't you yet understand? Your greed is blinding your eyes. Don't you discern the churches that have opened themselves up to this? Also have the laughing, mocking spirit of chaos in their churches? Can't you see that this is another form of deception to keep you from being without spot or wrinkle? This is another deception to get your eyes away from my coming. You who have been deceived and not repented, you are not my bride. 
I call upon my lost sheep that have called themselves mine and yet run to another shepherd's arms. A false shepherd, one that will lead those once called my lambs unto slaughter. These that come to me and call me Saviour do so only because of the signs of turning metal into gold or seeing gold dust. Do you not realize only love, true love for me will save your souls? Do you not realize repentance, true repentance will save your souls? Do you not remember that I did miracles, signs and wonders with Moses? And the evil Pharaoh had his magicians, sorcerers and enchanters counterfeit the same. Satan sought to deceive then and he does the same now. He used a golden idol then. He uses a golden idol now. You with the spirit of a Pharisee, you chase after flesh and not Maruah HaKodesh. You are once looked upon with joy. Now I turn away from in disgust. You say because this ministry or that person that you have put upon pedestal, thinking they are more than what they are. Because they say this is an act of heaven without even discerning what spirit they are speaking from. You accept it as truth, though it be a lie from the pit of hell. Woe be unto these that teach my people to sin and accept what is not my Ruach HaKodesh. You are the same ones that have them rolling in the aisles and barking like dogs and laughing in chaotic mockery, claiming it is the joy of the Lord. You leaders, I will bring you down so suddenly. Who led my flock astray? You will not even be warned. Consider this your warning, but so few will even hear my voice, for they have heard the voice of another that now speaks to them through Satan. You leaders, you are held responsible and you are held accountable for what you know. You false leaders who lead my people astray are the same ones that now use my word to claim Yahushua is channeling through the people. Come out of the churches that do all these things I have charged them with this day or flocks that once were mine. Your name will be blotted out forever in the Lamb's Book of Life. In this world you bow down to gold and think one is better than the other, depending how wealthy they are. Fools! Yes, I call you fools! Did not the Israelites create for themselves a golden idol? This is no different. Because my foolish wayward daughter Jerusalem also partakes in this folly. And my servants are once trusted. Teach this heresy you believe it to be the works of my hands. Ask yourself, how is bowing down and worshipping the false god that fills teeth with gold any different than bowing down to the golden calf? Ask yourself, when I gave the commandments written on stone to Moses, written by my finger on stone, not gold. Ask yourself why I didn't write them on gold. Yet at the same time, Satan filled my people's hearts and they were worshipping a golden idol. This is no different. You leaders boast how many are getting saved from this gold fever revival. And yet, do you not think I know the people's true motives and see their hearts? Do you not know that Satan uses a golden idol once again to lead my people into a false worship 
and you think you're praising me and glorifying I am? And yet you're insulting me! Away from me! Those who do these things, repent today, or with your soul, you will pay! Now I have further charges against you leaders, congregations and churches who say you are mine. During this time, you even have the heathen's eyes upon the gold fever revival. And yet I charge you with this. Why are you not falling on your knees and fasting and interceding day and night for the atrocities being done in a war orchestrated by Satan himself? Do you not know I am is going to judge in a harsh way all those taking part in NATO and doing these atrocities? Your eyes are on gold and not on the innocent men, women and children you are bombing and murdering daily. Pastors, prophets, apostles, evangelists and teachers, beware. You who once spoke my words and now play the game, follow the leader. I am is the only leader you are to follow. I am follows no man or woman. They are to follow. I am. I am is not in the popularity of the ministries you seek autographs from for shame. My servants are to serve the people, and instead they are enticed to sin, with bribery to stay silent from the governments who give tax-exempt status, and warn you if you speak, you will pay for it financially. For the sake of money, you muzzle yourselves. You prove what God you serve when you do not speak, that homosexuality is sin. Abortion is sin. War is sin. The ways of the world is sin. Anyone who is a friend to this world is not a friend to I am or my son Yahushua. Beware. I charge you now. You who call yourselves spiritual leaders. You who march to the tune of the world's drama, why do you not hear my voice tell you to speak out against unholiness? You teach my people to sin by staying silent, and no matter what is done by your political leaders, you say, I am, wants them not to fight against what is unholy, nor speak out against the leaders of the nations doing these things. Pray for them to repent, but do not let the spiritual leaders and political leaders lead you into the bowels of hell. Do not let the blood of others soak your garments. Do not be blinded by the fame and fortune Satan offers this world. There's a revival, yes, but a greater revival of footsteps leading into hell from the great falling away from my truth. Satan had a revival going also, so beware of the counterfeit, carnal revival. I charge you spiritual leaders, not all are marching to the drum roll of hell. There are those like this handmaiden and others who will boldly cry out and protest and if need be lay down their lives for my sake. I warn you, Jacob I have loved, Esau I have hated. When you seek to silence my Jacobs, you are in danger of becoming like one unto a Cain spirit. You are in danger of my love turning to hate for you. It is you who blaspheme the Ruach HaKodesh. When you dare to say a work of Satan is done by the Ruach HaKodesh. Test every spirit that speaks. Test every sign, wonder and miracle. Does it line up with the word of I am? 
The gold dust sprinkling you and your clothes. The gold dust is sent to you from hell to cover you like a blanket and blind your eyes and put you in a deep spiritual coma where you no longer know right from wrong. I charge you spiritual leaders, I once could trust you. I cannot anymore. Why are you not protesting? and having your people protest this war. Why do you call yourself friend to the political leaders doing these atrocities? Don't you know you will be held responsible for not speaking out in fear of losing your tax exempt status? You spiritual leaders, you have accepted the bribery from their governments to remain quiet. You have sold your birthright, like Esau did for a handful of gold. The bigger the ministry, the more you could have had my people to raise up and speak up and tell the heathen no. Yet for a bribe you remain silent and allow murders of innocence and the blood is on your hands spiritual leaders and all who follow after them and all who support them with your tithes and offerings don't expect any blessings from me or when the time comes you cry out for my deliverance remember where are you when the innocent needed your voice to defend them War for the sake of greed. Man playing God and my people stand silent. What will you do, you who stand silent and watching the bombing of innocent men, women and children? You now are wearing their blood on your garments. If everyone would just do something to speak out. If every church would just speak out against this. Fast. Pray and intercede. Don't close your doors till you see my hand of deliverance. America, woe be unto you. For bloodshed has not come to your shores from war for many years. But you have now called it upon yourselves. I am yet staying the hand of the executioner for the sake of the few who cry out for mercy. But when it comes, there will be no warning. In the silence of the night, it shall strike with no warnings. You're so puffed up with pride. You think no nation shall strike back. But woe be unto you, America. For when it comes time to strike, it shall not be by one hand that hits you, but by many hands that strike you for what you have partaken in. Your allies will be nowhere in sight, for they will be battling for their own countries. Woe be unto you, my children, who support this war. Your money is blood soaked. You spiritual leaders, who every week holds church or temple and yet do not lead the people to fast, pray and intercede against this. Two wrongs do not make a right. How can you condemn murder on one hand and yet applaud it on the other hand as long as your nation is doing the murdering? Hypocrites! How can you say we must support our political leaders when what they do is wrong. Yes, I put the political leaders in office. I also put the evil Pharaoh as a corrupt ruler. Did I tell Moses to obey him when he was ungodly? Did I not tell the Israelites to flee this ungodly ruler? Did I not tell Moses to warn this ungodly ruler? Did I not create the evil Pharaoh and yes, even Hitler and Mussolini for my wrath and destruction for the evil they have done in my sight? I charge you with this, spiritual leaders. And all those remaining silent, you are no different than those that remain silent during the Holocaust. I charge you with this, 
political leaders who remain silent knowing what is being done is wrong yet daring not to rock the boat in fear you shall have your boat rocked but it will be by the hand of I am's wrath I will not only rock it I will turn your lives upside down and hold you under repent today speak up today hate not the one delivering this message she is only obeying my will someone must speak forth and be like a Moses and say let my people go when it comes time and you see Israel surrounded by troops will you then speak up when you hear the threats of your own nation threatening my daughter Jerusalem will you then speak up when the missiles point in their direction by your own nation will you then speak up you spiritual leaders who cower in the corner in fear with your mouths muzzled for you have taken the bribe of gold covered in your gold dust lukewarm with a form of godliness and no godliness within you who read my words to the people and yet do not act upon the words faith without works is dead you sing your praises to me and yet I say be gone with your praises for you show me no praise in any other way than with the forming of your lips in song your hearts are far from me you speak of love and yet I charge you spiritual leaders where is your love if you love me you will obey me you will teach my people to obey speak out like John the Baptist and not fear for your lives beware if you don't repent I will say to you one day depart from me you workers of iniquity I never knew you Jacob I have loved Esau I have hated be careful my love for you doesn't turn to hate be where Cain thought he gave me a good offering also and in jealousy he slew Abel for he realized his sacrificial offering was not enough why do you have your congregations eyes on their teeth and gold I shall show you what the teeth of the line of Judah feel like when greatly angered you mock me with your worship that leads people to a golden idol and lulls them asleep to the murders that surround them and yet their eyes are on their own teeth or in the mouths of others do you not think I hear the screams from the mouths of the innocent woe be unto the nations and the people who take part in defending the workers of evil and who kill those who worship me Woe be unto any nation that does not do everything possible to protect Jerusalem. I have hidden Israel, although she is my wayward daughter. She is my daughter and I love her very much and jealously God and will protect what is mine. Her eyes have been blinded and now gold dust tries to blind her further. But I personally shall wipe her eyes with tears to see clearly and she shall see her savior Yahushua come and rescue Israel. O oh, Jerusalem, O oh, Jerusalem, I will gather you to me and put my arms around my people and any that dare come against you will find out what it is like to try and destroy Almighty God who is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I am is my name and I share my glory with no one or nothing. 
You have loved me, yet not my son, Yahushua, who was born on earth, on your soil, from the loins of your own flesh. Yet you will despise the only Savior you will ever know. Yet this is changing, and my Ruach HaKodesh is sweeping over Israel, and the enemy cannot stop it. Oh Israel, do not give up what I have told you not to surrender. Oh Israel, do not give in to the intimidation of war, or rumors of war, or destruction. Believe that I am will save and deliver you from the hands of the enemy and from the hands of strange children. Believe I will deliver you and all my children in all nations from the hands of the strange fire. Do not be deceived. Chase the sorcerers out of your churches and temples. Chase the golden idol worshippers away from my children. Leaders, repent today for not taking a stand against unholiness. I speak this message through my handmaiden Shiri Elijah. And although the message is not tickling to your ears, it is a message that comes from the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and the Heavenly Father of Yahushua. I am is my name, and I am has spoken this day, so let it be recorded in earth as in heaven.